Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. Today here at the Les Bolstead Driving Range with Mr. Jake Montgomery, Master Club Fitter at our Minneapolis store. It's a beautiful day, Jake, for mm -hmm. a head-to-head -head iron comparison out here on the driving range. So we've got two players distance models, um, both new for this year. So we've got, I've got a Ping I-530, you've got the Mizuno Pro 245. So uh, I guess we'll start with that one in your hand, Jake. The Mizuno Pro 245, what have you seen from that one in the fitting base so far this year? Yeah, so in the player's distant category, it is very tough to beat in terms of feel. Yeah. That's what Mizuno's known for. This feature is a copper underlay and a chromoly face, very soft, kind of traditional, more forged feel mm -hmm. in a hollow body design. Generally has pretty good spin again for this category. If you're a player that's trying to transition maybe away from a blade or a muscle yeah. cavity, this is a great place to go. You're still going to have that feel you're familiar with, but with a little more ball speed and a little more peak height. Yeah, it's definitely one of those clubs, especially you talk about the right, great feel that's Mizuno is known for. Mm -hmm. um, you can still get that really great kind of soft, almost forged feel that you might get in a muscle back iron, but Absolutely. get it inside of this. And then, like you said, still get a ton of that distance mm -hmm. out of it. Now, Ping I-530, kind of a late addition to sort of the releases this year. It was yes. like a March release, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, in 2024 here. I-530, um, you know, the update from I-525 for Ping, mm -hmm. what have you seen from this one? Yes, I mean, biggest kind of aspect I see in a fitting with this club is peak height. Yeah. This thing launches super high and has a ton of ball speed. If you're someone that struggles with getting the ball up in the air and you're not looking to go towards a kind of a super game improvement club, this is a great place to go. With it only having 29 degrees aloft, it launches a lot higher than expected. It performs very, very well in the bay in terms of getting that ball up in the air. Yeah, I think that was one of the things that uh, I remember talking to the team at Ping mm -hmm. at the PJ show this year, and I was surprised initially that they said that they make st strengthen the loft mm -hmm. again because that's you know that's kind of a big uh, you know discussion point in yeah. golf I think. But um, to see and hear both from you and other fitters mm -hmm. that this thing is still launching high enough is, is very encouraging. Yeah. So uh, today we're going to test these head to head. We've got uh, dynamic gold shafts in each of them. Mm -hmm. We've got the Mizuno Pro 245. We've got the Ping i530. We've got a full swing launch monitor with us as well and then we're gonna have jake swing Absolutely. are you ready for that oh yeah all right let's do it all right so first club mizuno pro 245 mm -hmm. um put that one down on the dress yeah. and tell me what you see I mean, my first thought is sleek yeah you usually see in kind of a player's distance line a little bigger top line this is pretty slim so again if you're used to that smaller top line this is a great place to look um sits a little flatter which mizuno is known for that suits my eye pretty well Hit a couple shots with it, see how it feels. Felt pretty good. Yeah, I will say the first comment I have just on that swing was just it's like the sound isn't that, it's not like the loud, no. hollow player's distance, mm -hmm. that sound that you might hear. It's, it's very still, muted. Yeah, it's, it's muted for that category for mm -hmm. sure. Absolutely. First swing you're at, or, well, I guess, in terms of distance, I'll just mm -hmm. ask you before I yeah. even give you any numbers. What would you expect given this this club? This you know, it's a different probably than your actual gamer. Mm -hmm. So what would you expect numbers wise? I'd expect ball speeds around 120 to 125, okay. carrying 175 to 180. All right, That's... peak height probably around 100 feet. Yep. This is these are pretty good. All right, this yeah. is good. We got this. So your ball speed is 124.5. Okay. Carry was 181. Mm -hmm. Your peak height was 107. Yeah. yeah. So kind of falls right in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, do, keep, just keep doing that and uh, it'll, your hypothesis will be pretty correct. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, this is this is great. Yeah. You're uh, so far. 179 with that carry there. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more spin that time. Uh, that one actually crept over 60 or 6,000, excuse oh, me. 6,000 spin, spin so. for this category of a club is very good. Yep. Caught that one a little heavy. Okay. It still looks like it flew out there really nice. Yeah, though, it got up there you know? pretty well. Yep. It yep does, your ball speed. Down. Your ball speed did dip. Your spin also dropped down to just over four thousand that time. What happened to the peak height there? But the peak height did stay up. I mean, it's ninety nine feet. Wow. So and it looked like it was kind of high on yeah. that one. So again, we're using we're using the range balls here at Les Bolsa, which are mm -hmm. actually I mean good they're, they're good conditioned range yeah. balls. So. But that is something to note in terms of the launch and stuff. I think mm -hmm. typically range balls might launch a little bit higher. Yeah. And maybe with a little bit Send less a little spin, spin more. typically. Or, or more spin. It, it's it kind of depends inconsistent. On the ball. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are, it's not It's not a Pro V1 that we're hitting. No, right now, absolutely so not. I'll say that. Um, okay. Good number so far, though. Can I go a little higher? 
Yeah, it did. 107 on that peak height. Yeah. Your average smash factor is pretty good at 135. You're hitting it pretty solid there. I'll take that. 183 on that carry. I don't even know how much more we need to see out of this club. Nah. This is, Jake's got his swing going today. <laughs> Pro 245 is doing pretty well for us here. All right, that's that's really good stuff there from the Mizuno Pro 245. Um, in terms of the feel, yeah. we talked a little bit about feel. Um, is it, you know, in the in the beginning there, we said mm -hmm. the Mizuno Pro 245, in terms of player's distance irons, very soft feeling. Yeah. Um, I imagine that stayed true here. And even on the shots where you maybe didn't quite hit it in the mm -hmm. center of the face, does it still feel pretty good for you? For sure, yeah. I mean, it felt very soft, very muted. Even the one that I caught a little high in the face, I could tell just from the turf interaction, but I didn't feel it too much. This okay. very soft overall feeling club. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, that's that's pretty similar feedback to what we've heard just throughout, you know, uh, the whole spring into mm -hmm. summer here with Mizuno Pro Irons. Sure. So let's go through some, through some averages here. And this is all, I mean, it's pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see your dispersion there. You're pretty pretty tight there. Yeah. You know, a couple, that one that carried a little shorter, mm -hmm. and then you got one that went, that one as you was 185 carry, which is the longest. Uh, so your average on the carry is 182. Your mm -hmm. average spin rate was 51.23. Okay. So just over 5,000, yep. which I think is probably expected mm -hmm. um, in this category for someone like you. Um, you know, you're compressing the bar really well, and that's going to be a lower spinning than something yep. you're probably used 100%. to. Smash factor average 135, very good. Launch angle at an average of 18 degrees. Okay. So uh, that seems like it fits in pretty well. Average peak height of 105. Yeah, that's great. So, and, that, and for what it's worth, the total mm -hmm. average, I know we like to focus on carry, yeah. but um, the full swing launch monitor is, is uh, kind of reading some rollout at two, mm -hmm. so the average total distance of 194. Yeah. So, does that kind of fit in with everything that you would have expected? Ball speed, by the way, 124.7. Yeah, I mean, that's right around kind of where I expected yep. the desire to be at 30 degrees aloft. Um, definitely a little hotter than what I might typically yeah. play, but didn't seem like we suffered too much in its consistency. No, no, not. And that's actually what I wanted to bring up was the carry distance here. Mm -hmm. So I've got the carry distances of the five shots, 181, 179, 181, 183, 185. Yeah, I'll take that. So that's pretty good. Like mm -hmm. you, you're you hitting, you know, and again, you didn't hit those the exact perfect every time. No. Maybe a slight miss a mm -hmm. couple times, and it was, you're still within three, four yards of the average every yeah, single time. Yeah, I take so, that all day long. So that is terrific stuff from the Bazuno Pro 245. Um, should we transition now? I-530? Let's first, I'll have you pick it up and maybe we'll do a quick kind of head-to-head -head here, what you think in terms of difference on the appearance of that one. Yeah, so I mean, bigger overall size, but not off-putting. Okay. It's not some big honking club where I look down like, yeah, I don't know if I can play this. I could definitely get used to this iron, especially like in a four iron. I play the I-230s myself, so this okay. would be a great kind of place to combo that as well. Um, you see that kind of traditional white line for pink. Yep. I love that. It really helps you square up the face there. Okay. And do you notice one thing I've mm -hmm. I've always taken note of with these recent ping iron releases is the grooves. They have the yes. micro max grooves. One hundred percent. A lot more grooves on the um, face. You see more grooves. Okay. Yeah. I, and is that? I mean, it's not like it's disturbing or anything, but it's no, something that I feel like a lot of players, um, if they're you know, if they notice things of the mm -hmm. appearance of the club, that's probably one thing they're going to see right away. Is for sure. You see a lot of grooves on that face. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's hit some shots here. We got right. the Ping I five thirty seven iron. That was a little skinny. Okay. Interesting that you say that because the ball speed was much higher, I believe, yeah. than anything that. Now, granted, the loft is a little bit stronger, I but, it was much, this but it was this much, was hot. much uh, higher ball speed than the Mizuno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was 128 on the ball gotcha, speed. Gotcha, yeah. So. Yeah, this thing is real good at generating ball speed. I also noticed, and again, does, does that one hit a little bit more square? Or yeah. No? Okay. It's because I noticed on that one, um, the sound was a little bit, it's like louder than the Mizuno Pro, I think. For sure. There's, it's definitely a little more audible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with that one, the spin went up a little bit. So you're kind of, your average right now at the spin of those two shots, 6,600. Yeah. So you're up quite a bit on the spin. Yeah, I think those grooves are helping. A little pull there. See what that does to the numbers here. The ball speed is still staying up there, though. I mean, that one was at 125.9. Yeah. The spin is also higher, which is interesting. We're a stronger yeah. lofted club here, mm -hmm. but that spin is still 
uh, it seems like it so far is comfortably higher than the Mizuno Pro. Yes, I mean, this has a very, very low center of gravity. That's how it launches the ball so yeah. high. Um, not surprised to see that spin rate again with these grooves on here. That was Toei. Okay, that, we'll see what that brings the spin down. Not really, though. No? Yes, it's just over 6,000. Yeah. Your this, average is 6,406 for the spin. This club is four very shots. easy to hit. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with that in the sense that it's still generating spin and launch mm -hmm. being stronger lofted. That one I caught real well. You caught real well? Yeah. Yeah, you got over 130 miles an hour yeah. on the ball yeah. speed there. That's really, really good stuff. Um, so, yeah, we got to go through here and talk about some of these numbers. Mm -hmm. So you're, it's interesting because the average on the carry there is 181. Yeah. So it's pretty similar mm -hmm. to the, in terms of the distance, but the spin is much higher at 6301. Yeah. Compared to what was just over 5,000 mm -hmm. with uh, the Mizuno Pro. Yeah. So. I guess in terms of feel as well, is there a, do you feel a big difference between the two or? I mean, it's not quite as soft, but this doesn't feel bad by any means. I, again, I'm used to playing ping irons. This feels very familiar. This is plenty soft for me. There are some people that really want to feel like you're hitting a marshmallow. Yeah. Maybe lean more towards that Mizuno, but this does a really, really good job of generating launch angle, spin. Yep. If you're a player that struggles getting the ball up in the air, this is a great place to go. Yeah, I mean, your average height was 108, so yeah. you're higher than mm -hmm. the Mizuno Pro. Um, and we talked about spin, that was 6301 compared yeah. to just over 5,000, mm -hmm. so that's a lot more spin. For sure. Um, and then the ball speed too, higher ball speed with mm -hmm. this. You mentioned that it was a hot club, it clearly is. Yeah. 127.6 is the average ball speed mm -hmm. with this seven iron versus it was, I think, 124.7 yeah. with the Mizuno Pro. So. And I love seeing more spin out of a club with higher ball speed. That spin rate's gonna help you be more consistent on your carry distance. Yeah. You really want to try and avoid flyers with this club. You yeah. get that low spin knuckler and it goes 15 yards over the green. That can be a round killer. So seeing a higher spin rate increasing that consistency is really good yep. to see. Yep, yep, exactly. One thing I wanted to show to bring up again is we talked about the consistency of carry distance mm -hmm. from the Mizuno Pro, right? It was, yep. you know, we were talking about, you know, 179, 181 a couple mm -hmm. times. It was pretty similar with the I-530. It was 183. 176 and 178 then after mm -hmm. that a couple not quite perfect yeah. strikes and then 180 187 so you're yeah. still in a kind of a nine ish yard window mm -hmm. there where your ball is going to be flying most of the time yeah and you were hitting the ball pretty solid for the most mm -hmm. part but you had a couple there that you didn't yeah, quite catch I, I thought you commented on so i think this is a good test because it shows two similar irons but i think there's different characteristics mm -hmm. of them and each of them that make them pretty distinct from each other yeah absolutely yeah i think if you were like I guess if you were to mm -hmm. maybe categorize these, these irons for different types of golfers, yes. because there's definitely advantages mm -hmm. to both of them. You know, starting with Mizuno Pro, let's go there. Which, you know, if you were looking for something, what would yeah. you find out of that iron? So the way that I would typically describe these to people is if you're going from a more bladed style iron into something more forgiving, I would lean towards that 245. Yeah. That's going to give you more traditional shaping you're used to, a yeah. similar feel. Generally, those players generate enough spin on their own that they could play a little lower spin iron. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're going from a game improvement more to a player's distance, I-530 would be great. This is still going to help you generate ball speed, generate spin, but a little smaller profile, better feel, better look. I like that. That's a really good way to think of it because it's... You talk about players in this category, a lot mm -hmm. of irons out there, a lot of things get go into those similar yeah. shape, but mm -hmm. we saw a lot of differences in this test yeah, here. So 100%. two great options for sure though. Mizuno Pro 245, Ping I-530, both are available to get fit at second swing with someone mm -hmm. like Jake here in the fitting bay. Make sure you schedule that fitting, get your iron game dialed in with one of these models. And uh, Jake, thank you for taking the time no to hit some shots out here. This is a pretty good test That's right a, here. Yeah, it's a lot of fun.